I'm here to present my argument for statement that political parties are entertaining the crime. Arguably, the strongest point in favour of political parties being in the face of the crime is the total percentage of the total voting age population. In the 1960 presidential election, the total public turnout was 62.8%, an average figure we would all agree. So what would you do if I told you this is the highest turnout for 100 years? In addition, the last time the turnout percentage was above 60% was 1968. It's never reached that figure since. Some argue that Obama revitalised the political system, making younger people want to be more involved and increasing awareness of politics. However, in the recent 2012 election, only 54.9% voted. In 1996, the figure reached a desperate low of 49%. Compare these results to the late 19th century, where voting turnout rarely dropped below 70%, and even reached 80% in some cases. So I think the overall trend is clear to see. Political parties are in a state of decline. If the voting turnout is below or around 50%, this argument cannot be denied. Thank you. Television, opinion polls, and new media have bypassed parties as the medium by which candidates communicate with voters. Parties um, rallied as well as the traditional way in which candidates spoke to and helped the voters. The party is therefore the most important vehicle of communication between politicians and voters. Nowadays, politicians talk increasingly to voters through the media, television, and the internet, and voters talk back through opinion polls. The emergence of movements such as the Tea Party and Occupy movement also show the decline of people's attachment to traditional political parties as vehicles of protest and change. This shows how the electorate has lost interest in the ideology and appeal of a party and instead vote over an individual or specific issue. Direct primaries, which is a preliminary election in which a party candidates for public office are nominated by the direct vote of the people, have strengthened the grassroots parties at the expense of the centre. They've also encouraged the development of the candidate oriented elections, which has helped to undermine party loyalty in Congress. Candidates often have to fight to gain party nomination, and they do this with personal organisations rather than using the party. So parties have lost direct control of the nomination process, as more candidates are being selected by the parties. 
starts off with Max's rebuttal. He stated that split ticket voting increased uh, between 2000 and 2008. This was the only increase in this period. Before, uh, split ticket voting has decreased since the 80s and 90s from about 30%. He also stated that pressure groups are growing because uh, uh, pressure groups are growing, and this shows party decline. Pressure groups have been growing because they are new. You didn't have the impact of the NRA back in the 1950s or 60s. The whole reason they're increasing now is because people, they're not becoming a single issue, they're just becoming more political. He also stated that there has been a decline at some point. There isn't a decline now. There might have been after the Watergate scandal with Jimmy Carter and Gerald Ford, but there isn't now. Also, in Barney's argument, he stated there are less young people voting now than were in the 1960s. Uh, there are two reasons for this. Firstly, the baby boomers, who, uh, where there was a huge increase in the amount of young people between the 40s and 50s, and so there were more young people in the population who were voted. Secondly, something Joe stated, they had the first TV debates between Nixon and Kennedy. Um, this would obviously hurt the interests of the young people, because this is the first TV debate, the first use of mass media. He also stated that parties have been declined since the 1800s. That's a pretty bad point, because parties, firstly, in the 1800s, were completely different um, kind of things. And secondly, like, in the 1800s, people were more politically charged. They got independence about 50 years after, uh, before that. And also, Joe's point, if TV debates are gradually weakening parties' control, then why do parties use TV debates to select their candidates?